In this lesson for Solid Edge Cam Pro, we will talk about post processing. What is post processing? Well, a post processor, or sometimes referred to as a post, converts the digital information about the toolpath that is available inside of Solid Edge Cam Pro into G code language. This G code language is then read by the machine tool as it performs the machining motion that you have described in Solid Edge Cam Pro. So basically it converts binary information into G code language that the machine tool can read. Let's parse through a couple of lines of G code language code. So in these two lines of G code language code we have several words that we need to define. The first word is the line number. This doesn't really mean anything to the machine. It's simply a location code so that if we need to search up that line at the machine tool, we know what line number to look for. This next bit is the first real instruction, and that is G17. G17 tells the machine tool that if I do any circular interpolation, in other words, if I try to make the tool cut a circle, I want to do that in the XY plane. G0 tells the machine tool to move it rapid for the entirety of this line of code. G90 is absolute positioning, so this means that the coordinates that we give it will be from the machine 0 or the program home. And here are the positions in X and Y that we want to move to. Finally, the spindle speed should be 1061 RPM and we want the spindle to spin in a clockwise fashion. So these last two words taken together start the spindle up at a little over 1000 RPM in a clockwise fashion. Another line number, this one says to turn on tool length compensation and move to a value in Z of 18.0. And that position in Z will be offset by the registry value that is stored in offset register 2. A couple of questions usually arise when I relay this information. The first is, why don't we use regular English language? The G code language has been around since the 60s. Computers were much less sophisticated back then and they required this abbreviated language because they had very small memories. And so now, we have all this history built up, it's very difficult to switch over. The second question I could ask is, do I need to memorize and understand all these? The answer is no. It helps to know some of the codes, but it's not a requirement for sure. The third question that usually gets asked is something like, well this looks pretty easy. Well, this example is easy, but when we look at different machine control requirements, they can vary widely. This is post-process G-code data for three different controllers. On the left is the Fanuc control, pretty close to what I was reading to you before. In the middle we have a Cinemaric output for Siemens controls. And on the right we have Heidenhand control information. As you can see, these are very, very different. Fortunately, Solid Edge Cam Pro has something called the Post Hub, and the Post Hub contains over a thousand post processors that we can easily download and use, and they match a large portion of the machines that are out there. Let's take a look. So here we have our program that we have created a complete machining set of instructions for, and now it's time to do some post processing. So to do that, we simply highlight the program and then we choose post process. In fact, you may have noticed that if we're not on the program, if we're on unused items, for example, the post process button is grayed out. We cannot do post processing, similar to verify toolpath. So we highlight the program and choose post process. Notice that there are some sample post processors already available. 
But down below the Browse for a Post Processor button, there's also the Post Hub. If I choose to browse online for a post processor, this will take me to the Post Hub. Now the Post Hub does require GTAC sign-in. So so you must have a GTAC account and password. You'll notice that today we have 1,185 posts. That number tends to grow by a few every month or so. So we're always adding new post processors to the list. This is a searchable database, so you can search by controller family. For example, let's say that I'm looking for a Haas post processor that will serve for three axis. Search. And that narrowed my search down to two different post processors. One for a vertical machine, one for a horizontal machine. If I choose to download the vertical post processor, it takes a moment but once it's downloaded, I can immediately use it. To install the post processor, you must have administrator privileges. So even if you don't have administrator privileges, you can still download and use the post. So I'll choose no. And notice that the new post processor automatically got added to the list for this session only. I choose OK. I have a warning. In this particular instance, the program name was unacceptable as the program title. So the post processor changed it from program to 0001. Here's some basic information about the posted data. And of course, here's the G code file. And that's how you can download and use a post processor from the post hub. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.